Hi guys and welcome to this other fantastic property that we got for our client deal. Now we purchased this property two years ago for $169,000. It was positively geared from day one, okay? And with that, he's just basically sat on it. Now it's time to put that gear into motion. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a three-stage process. And we're gonna firstly renovate the existing house behind me. It's a country style house. It's a three bed, one bath, one car garage house. The entry for the house is over on this side. The driveway is on this side of the road. It's a corner block. It's 169 we bought it for. We're gonna spend 30 grand renovating it. If we decide to sell that house, after we've completed the renovation, then our profit on this house is going to be in the vicinity of around $76,000. So that in itself is a, a magnificent equity deal for anyone who wants to pay off their mortgages. But let's take it a few steps more. Let's take it a few steps more because this is where it gets interesting. Because this property is on a corner block, we've got two side accesses. So as I said, that, so, that road there will be where the entrance is for this house. But on this road, on this road here, we also have two, a vacant block at the back, right? Part of this lot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna subdivide the block into three. So this will be a one into three subdividable block. And then we're gonna build a three, two, one on either side, which is a three bed, two bath, one car garage. So this property will now turn into three. Now, that gives this client many options. Does he keep them all and rent them out, all positively geared? Does he sell the original house? Does he sell one at the back? Or does he sell two or, or, or what? There's a lot of different ways that we can put this together, but we don't have to decide that at the very present time. All we have to decide is a step-by-step -step process. One renovate two subdivide and then build. 